for jumping in today. My name is uh, Danny Coldblood, a.k.a. my music idiot, and I am here with Dibs Gaming. Dibs, what's going on, buddy? Hey, hello. I'm fine, man. How are you? Doing this good. This is the first time we do... Yeah, we're doing this for, for, the, for the first time, like an after talk after we posted the video. Yeah, so, yeah, it's the uh, first time we got together for this, guys. Normally, you'll see me and Dibs either post videos or go together on a live broadcast. But today is a unique situation as we both posted the video, basically the same video. There's, If you guys watch both videos, you'll see there's some small changes, like Dibs has his own music and his intro starts first on his channel, my intro starts first on my channel. But basically, it's the same information. Um, and then we decided to do a little after uh, show, like a little after post video discussion, if you will. Um, kind of get together with you guys and see how this works out you know we can talk about our thoughts on everything talk about our uh, different opinions or theories and have a discussion with everybody live so that gives you guys time you know to uh, watch the video and then uh, a little while afterwards we went live with this uh, this broadcast to go ahead and talk with you guys about the video and the stuff within it and maybe uh, if this is something that works out good and you guys end up liking this well, then we can do this more often. We can post videos or maybe have each other uh, jump in as guest appearances uh, for each other's videos and have maybe little after shows, you know, after after some posts that we have. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, let us know in our comments and we'll be sure to do this again sometime because uh, me and Dibs had a pretty fun time making the whole video together and then, you know, setting all this up. So I think this would be pretty fun to do once in a while, Dibs. Yeah, I totally agree. I had to set up... The live stream I couldn't see, otherwise I can't see the the, the chat room. So I am here in the room. Yeah, I can see the people: Christian, Leonardo, and uh, El Picado. I think that's Mexican or something. Avocado. <laughs> no, El Picado. Yeah. I... <laughs> well, okay. And we will come back live uh, in the chat, of course, because that's why we do it. It's like an after, after talk video. Right. And uh, there are there are some awesome hunters in the chat. I see Leonardo, and uh, I, I see some diff uh, some other names. Uh, I recognize. So uh, yeah, we got thank Sam you for Olds. Being here. Uh, shout out to Sam Old, Size and Setsu, Rocky Ninety One, or Brittany. Are you guys? Thank you guys all for jumping in. Much appreciated. So, Dibs, we covered um, basically uh, different codes that deserve deciphering within Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so far in this game, we have uh, the coordinates man that's located all the way on the eastern side of the map. And usually around 1030 in the morning or so, you guys can go ahead and um, see him. I have a video on it on my channel if you guys want to check it out. And you know, get the precise times and everything. But he shows up like every single day and he's got coordinates on his shirts. So that's suspicious. I think I'm gonna end up doing a code walker video maybe tomorrow or so, sometime soon. And uh, we'll go ahead and find out exactly where that brings us. But not only do we have the coordinate steps, but we have other things that we talked about in the video, like the highway code, uh, the Morse codes within this game, you know, also like the links to the Altios website, the Morse codes, and other deciphered uh, codes that we've had in like L.A. Noir and, and hints to Rockstar's past. We were talking about this sign right here that says reds on it. And it's, you know, uh, the Red Dead Redemption font. So we talked about Rockstar's past and a lot of the stuff that we see repeating, like the Morse code and different diff different things like that. And some stuff still haven't been deciphered, like the other half of the highway code is not deciphered. And especially, I want to point out this hamburger sign. We do not have this thing figured out yet either. So I think it's really interesting to go ahead and talk about this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the chat, guys, as well. But Dibs talking with you what do you think man this has been four or almost five years this game has been out and we still have all this unsolved mysteries within the game what the hell are we doing well for me for me it's all about the uh, codex code we've uh, there are like four uh, morse codes uh, hidden in the game uh, and we found uh, uh, four of them or five codes and we found four of them uh, like the SOS code, we found the Altris code, we found the, the hatch, the, the uh, do you want to go bowling? Um, and 
but there's still one missing uh, and that's called the codex code and the codex yeah for me uh, it's like a personal no how do you say that that intrigues me the most because of the name codex it reminds me of uh what's the movie called again with tom hanks uh, the, the da vinci code where there are all puzzles and signs on uh, uh on paintings and the, the paintings will lead the way like this for instance this fella is pointing to a code uh and the highway code is still there and if you play other rockstar games because we haven't found we haven't found it yet or we haven't discovered the codex code so i thought maybe we should combine other rockstar games and yeah this is uh this is like yeah th yeah you take over because i don't know my english words for it it's all right man um no i agree with you and, and it's funny that you meet uh that you mentioned that uh the defense code because you know we have the basically the mystery we know about the mystery in this game because of a picture right a mural up on top of mount chiliad and you know there's connections even between this hamburger sign with this weird ass uh undeciphered code right here this jd019390 j6 jeff figo percentage zero y whatever this means okay that we're talking about right here if you look at the top of this thing this famous hamburgers the word famous uh you'll see has these little rays or dashes sticking out that go all around it and it's very similar to the top of the mural that is on top of mount chiliad and you know that's exactly what i was just talking about that mural up on top of mount chiliad at the very top in the cable car hut is what led us to understand that there was a mystery to begin with, with the uncracked or with the cracked Easter egg uh, on on the mural right in the middle, leading directly up to an image that looks very similar to this. And a lot of people called the area that we're in right now, Polito Bay. They call this the cracked egg. And if you look at it like in an overlay, if you take the mural on Mount Chiliad and you lay it as an overlay, it kind of works out where the top of Mount Chiliad could be. Um, that weird sun image, the one that looks like this, uh, the top of the sign, you know, and then you have the cracked egg leading the Polito Bay, that would really make sense that this unsolved code here might tie directly into this mystery in a, in, in a way that might help us crack open the entire mystery. I don't know, Dibs, what do you think? Do you think this thing could be more important than we may think? Yeah, I'm sure of it because uh, because what triggered for me was uh, there is no hamburger place, and I look at it the chat and uh, Rosalind says she's she's starving. Everybody's hungry, and they want uh, and they want um, hamburgers. I know uh, Sam Olds. Sam Olds yeah, wants a hamburger Leo, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Leonardo says uh, I want you to see something. Dips the famous sign used yellow and red. Those two are made for the people to make them hungry. Like Burger King and Mac McDonald's. Yes, very good uh, yeah, observation. And, and there's a Christian says there's more than one ghost. I did miss that video. Maybe, maybe you can clarify it. Uh, and the rest uh, are just DJ Mo says hi like five times. Hi, hi <laughs> DJ Mo. Um, I was uh, I was uh, wanted to say something else about uh, the code, but I forgot it. Um, you got the highway code and uh the the cb radio twats uh, everything for me it is like i want to find that codex code and i don't know if all those codes are connected like this one the highway code and uh because when i looked at the highway code and i saw the reference to GTA San Andreas, all you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. I first thought of a mission that it was it is supposed to be the mission derailed because it's nearly there and maybe we missed some things. I'm still not sure. And then you can see the electric lightning, uh, 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 the electric cables right under it and that it is connecting uh, the codes together. Let's go so, take a let's go take a walk over to the helicopter over here, and we'll we'll take a look at the highway code. Yeah. But um, 
you know what? You are right, though. Th there is um, that tube or whatever connecting the two codes together. And since they're basically the same thing on the same kind of shaded block, we'll show you guys what we mean in a second here. Um, I believe that those two codes at the, on the highway are definitely connected. They, they are almost, um, you know, two sides of the same coin as I relate often to both murals in the game, the one in the city and the one on top of Mount Chiliad as they're both in the same exact um, um, location on the map with the uh, with the geography of everything. They're in line. So I really think that those are two sides of the same coin as well. And, you know, it's so surprising to me, Dibs, uh, that we have unsolved features in this game still. And I just can't believe with all the code and data miners out there and all the players in general... All the mystery hunters, you know, all the all the people that are just randomly playing for whatever. Uh, you would be sh shocked to even hear that one thing is not solved, let alone a multiple uh, uh, of things. You know what I mean? How is all this stuff still unsolved? Well, uh, my my take on this is that uh, the highway codes were uh, put in the game at the exact same time. As the mine shaft went open with the L.A. Noir uh, uh, character in it, and that was a mystery. That's, so that's a clue. Maybe look in that game. Um, the peyote plants were added in into that game, uh, into the game, and those highway numbers. But the peyote plants got massive attention because it was found immediately in the codes, and everybody was looking for it. The, uh, the mine shaft went open. And people, uh, look, look right before you. you see, you see the beam of light. You see it? Hold on. Uh, on I, your right. On my yeah, right. Uh, the titty, look, look, the titty building. Yes, you're pointing straight ahead. You see it? Ah, uh, beam of light. I am not. Yeah, in the in the sky. Seeing. Look, it. I'm going to I'm going to zoom in. I'm look here. Yeah, people can see it, and it's not between seven and eight, like people will say it and you can't see it any it's straight ahead of you like point to the point to the uh, antenna uh, the antenna from the fine wood sign you can see it in the sky there let me know guys that are watching on my channel right now if you can see the beam of light that he's speaking of because it's not on my screen yeah it is on mine and uh, I don't know what the time is. Hold on, what's the time? It's 5.10, so it doesn't make sense. But it's uh, pointing at the titty building again. Remember the uh, wallpaper? The yeah. Rockstar wallpapers? Okay, this is a different site thing. I didn't know this was in online too. But uh, That's really awesome. weird that uh, you have a beam of light and I don't. That's That's really odd. I'm, I'm like staring hard, man. I'm looking. I don't see it. I don't think it's on my screen. Which means that, you know, if there is relevance to this beam of light stuff, that goes and tells me one thing. That maybe it's possible that it's uh, depending on your progression or what you've achieved in online or what kind of awards you've earned online because you hit start and you go over to what is it info uh, no nope. if you go over to stats and go down to awards there's a whole shitload of awards that you can earn and different things that you can do here within the game and they range from different colors to different pictures and images they all have their own names uh, I believe that some of these are very important. So maybe it's our progression. Maybe it's, uh, you know, what missions you've done. You know, because we do believe, at least a lot of us do, um, believe that, you know, some of this mystery might only be able to be solved with 100% in single player. Some of us believe that there's something in single player and online for us. So hey, with that chain of thought, you know what I mean, Debs? I wonder if there's something that you have on your game online that I don't or vice versa, which is hindering me and enabling you to see this beam in the sky right now yeah i can see it uh, rosalind says uh, it's not on danny's channel and justin says uh, well we saw it on dibs uh, so uh, 
it is different. Um, and Ryan Armstrong says, there's more red arrows I've found that no one talks about. Well, well we, we're curious, at least I am, if you can uh, clarify that. I wanna, I wanna look into it. But uh, then again, I, I must be honest that I think I've seen everything in the map and I just missed things or. And also this location with the highway code, this location is also where Trevor takes a piss during the, uh, the one mission, uh, the one heist in uh, GTA single player. So that's another thing to consider too, you know, they added this in the game. Um, I seen on a comments on the video that we just posted that in Code Walker, this uh, the code is um, the highway code is actually uh, named Scribble in the codes in Code Walker. I don't know if that's true or not, oh. but I seen. Oh, that by in the, the way, uh, about uh, about this, uh, these signs were not found by me. Those these signs were found by the, uh, by the. Uh, the guru team and I just looked into him and and you can see that it is connected but I think it was Grams who found it first or Juliet Midbuster um, so but, but they, these are uh, at the same time as the peyote plants and there's absolutely no reason because if you turn on your Xbox 360 it ain't there so right. and what's the use yeah, what's the use for... Well, like you were saying earlier, in. you know, uh, the peyotes had gotten massive attention, and then everyone collected all their uh, 27 locations of peyote plants, and then we got the Bigfoot discovery, which led to the beast and all that, and then people basically forgot about, uh, or didn't forget, but they didn't really search for anything else. They were all busy and focused on the one thing that they seen was added, but didn't realize that this was added at the same time. And now that we finally got to this and found it, and now it's discovered as a community, we say, okay, well, this is now here. We see this one says, uh, basically translate uh, to the letters in the alphabet. And when you look at it and figure it out, it says, all you had to do is follow the damn train, CJ. This one is still unsolved. But as you can see, they're both on shaded blocks, the same exact type of shaded block, and they're both connected by this electrical line or what kind of metal tubing this is that I'm not sure but as you can see they are connected and they do seem to go in the ground it kind of makes me think of that song uh, we have to get underground by uh, uh, you know the score um, um, within uh, within the game at the end of the game but anyway you know I'm wondering why uh, when these were discovered they didn't get massive attention as well like this, I mean, come on, gaming, the gaming industry finds secrets and, and unlocks all mysteries within games. It seems really quick nowadays. So especially a game as popular as Grand Theft Auto, you would think that this would have already been solved by now. We need more people in on this. And then we have the other stuff that's going on, like the SOS that you were mentioning in the video with the... Um... Yeah, we still don't know what it means. We know it's, it's activating when you uh, put an explosion to the tower. It, it sends out an SOS, but for who? Who sends it out and who is in distress? Who are we supposed to help? That SOS means something. It's not just an SOS, because if it was just an SOS, then it would be uh, like uh, all the time there, but you can only activate it when an explosion is there. Like a, a doomsday, uh, that's for me, it's like the doomsday, all the doomsday, uh, hints in the game and someone is pointing out that SOS and we still know I don't know where that SOS who we are supposed to help uh, I really thought that I made a video of it that when the uh, I activated the SOS and because the, uh, it's at the same location as the altruist I thought okay it, it must be them sending out the SOS so I went there and uh, what happened is that the Eltris camp were all uh, in panic. They're coming, they're coming. But that was like me switching over character too soon. So the ex I took the explosion into my character. So it, it, it was a false investigation. Uh, like I didn't did it the right way. 
and when I did it the right way, nothing happened at the L3. So the, the stress call, the SOS call, must be coming from somewhere else. And oh, uh, one more thing, Danny. Um, I didn't know that. Code walk, I thought uh, you must have, you must own GTA 5 on your PC. Well, I don't, I'm not a PC player. But you told me that you can download GTA 5 and you don't have to own uh, GTA 5 on your computer or your laptop. You can just download it like Google Maps. So if I wasn't unaware of it. So if you uh, like to code walk for yourself and help out and uh, just uh, download it, uh, it it's from um, Dixie Flex. Or I, I hope it, I pronounce his name because he deserves all credits for it. Dex effects or something, but uh, yeah, uh, download it. Uh, I downloaded it. I haven't taken a look at it, but I will tomorrow because I, I, I've really got some locations I want to visit. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the uh, what the um, requirements are. You just you, you download the the, the, the code walker thing, and uh, I think I just followed the instructions on the website. So just follow the instructions and. Uh, if you meet the minimum requirements, whatever they are, I don't know, you should be you should be fine for that. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to do a video tomorrow, uh, a Code Walker video tomorrow, and go ahead and um, look up the coordinate man uh, location and kind of investigate some of that stuff. Me and Dibs did a little dabbling with it today, and we found a secret room and some other some other fun stuff to look at. So I'm going to be doing some of that stuff tomorrow. Um, but I'm 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 still interested in the, in the, in the stuff that we lo we're looking at here. Like, with with this, you know, this connection is not by chance. That this is connected by these two what these two tubes like this. Like, they go underground. <laughs> Where are they going from under from the below the ground level right here? I'm gonna go in Code Walker as well and look below this ground level to see if maybe anything shows up. Who knows? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But um, I, th I see a couple of people in the chat that are kind of, I think they're kind of confused by what you were talking about with the Morse code. It's not that the Rebel Radio is is um, is showing off an code. SOS. It's not that. It's that it's showing off a Morse code. But when you use an explosion, like the black cell phones or whatever, then you get the change in Morse code into an SOS call, I think is what Dibs was saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Morse code changes. Uh, uh, normally, you, it's just the website from the Altruis. If you activate it on your telephone, you can see uh, all the, uh, the it, it, it's in Morse code. And uh, on Rebel Radio, uh, when you stand next to that building, uh, it, it sends out the website. But if you throw an explosion in the air or the black cell phones at, at midnight or 3 a.m., the the Morse code changes into SOS, like you know, there's a distress. It's interesting that we got Zach2018 saying that Codex is an ancient manuscript text in book form. Yes. It's an official list yes. of medicines, chemicals, and etc. So that's yes. interesting and that we have one of those in this game that's unsolved. And, and, and that one is still not found. And nobody knows where to look and what tells uh, us uh, that we have that unsolved like where does this information come from do you know i know it i got it uh, from reddit that m uh, many people were still looking for it like okay we still because the uh, remember that the sos code is not found that long ago it's just a year or maybe six months before that everybody was looking for the sos code as well so uh and now That's the right. SOS yeah, code is and we found. needed to we needed to actually trigger the SOS code to happen. It doesn't just yes. play. We go to a regular yes, Morse code, it. and then we blow up an explosion, and then the regular Morse code transforms a chameleon into the SOS code. So basically, yes. we were looking for something that we couldn't just find. We needed to physically do something to trigger it to become to originate to happen. So yes. maybe the, and it that's triggers the same on way sound. with the codex. Maybe it's the same kind of method. It triggers on sound. Yes, and it triggers on sound. And uh, I still think uh, when you uh, play GTA 4 and you press the uh, the horn uh, like, do, 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 burp, burp, then the <laughs> I'm sorry, but then the other cars will 
um, uh, finish the, the song. So the, the game reacts on sound and, and I thought, okay, maybe it can be sound like the, the space docker horn, but maybe it's just like a cheat code. When you put a cheat code, you press like R, B, X, uh, and it is like a, the button thing, the timing of the button, like da 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 da. Right, and that's yeah, that's a good timing. idea because think about it, Dibs. We have um, all those different tones within the horns that you can have when you go to Los Santos Customs. You have the the do re mi fa sol la ti da. Yeah, you know but it's I mean? only online. Right, yeah, but think yeah, about but it. But think about online. it. Like a lot of people do believe that there's something to solve online and in single player. So. If you think about it, right, um, if we have stuff like Wait. that in the game, that could be a hint. A lot of people believe that they uh, administer the clues to us within updates online as well that we can use as a method and a knowledge aspect within the game for single players. So we see them online giving us horns. Well, maybe that's our hint to go in single player and use the horn, right? Like, if you, if you think about it, it's very possible that we might have to do something like that because uh, in the video that we just posted together a minute ago before this live stream, think about it. We were showing off the car in um, L.A. Noir, and it had frequency sounds that sounded just like the Space Docker. So the one thing that's unique about the Space Docker and that has those sounds is the horn. And I think there's a lot of clues that might actually make that a plausible... Um, you know, theory to look into, man. One, I think it could be. Yeah, you know. one of the horns. One of the horns. I made a video of it, and I, I really thought that people would react more on that. But one of the horns it got an intelligent message in it, like uh, 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 Bob's. Uh, I don't know his first name, Carl Sagan. Uh, he's like the uh, Mike DeGrease Chase Tyson uh, guy, but then from the 80s. He made space programs, but he also did the Voyager thing. Remember the, the yellow mural? Yeah. Uh, he was the one who sent out that message. And in that message, in like uh, uh, the spectro, uh, spectrometer, I call it spectrometer, there is like a message, uh, yes, we are human. And it's not the uh, horn from uh, who, uh, the rare one but it is the wobbling one the the wow 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 wow, wow. <laughs> i'm sorry again but uh, <laughs> that yeah but that horn it's got a message in it and it's found uh, again also on reddit like a year or two ago and nobody's looking into it but but when i at places i only use the wobbling sound i don't, i i i'm um, ignoring the rare one and when I look at this code and when I try to decide with it, I first thought, okay, the M stands maybe for Michael, uh, one player, Z, uh, two C or a Zenkudo. And I thought uh, uh, 79511 was maybe an address. So I looked up for the address or placed it in alphabet. Then I thought, okay, maybe the, the M is Roman, like a thousand, like Chiliad. Right. Uh, thousands uh, minus zero one, then you get uh, uh, nine nine nine. Or the uh, TL one. Right, the TL one. Yeah. Door. Or, yes. Yeah. There's so much speculating, and then I thought, okay, I can't make sen any sense of it. And then I thought about the L and thing, like the Enigma machine, which you showed and we showed in the previous video, uh, just before this. That's why it's called an after talk. Uh, maybe we can use that thing to decipher this but i can't get the number there the numbers in the game if you well, maybe uh, maybe that's when we maybe we have to use the same method maybe we have to use what we did here on this left block to decipher half of this first you know what i mean like you take the alphabet and yeah. figure out what the numbers are now that we have this all without numbers and figured out the right way, now we could take it to that cipher machine from L.A. Noir. Or... Maybe that's why the stripes are in it. Like M stripe. Or one right, stripe. Right, right, yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. Or, if you think about it, this is kind of symmetrical, right? You got the two blocks with the two lines uh, or, or pipes coming down. And, and it's almost like you can fold this right down in the middle and it's like two sides of the same uh, thing, right? Like mirrored almost. Well, if you look at it, what if... Uh, what if this has everything to do 
with that block, considering San Andreas. We have this thing, all you have to do is follow the damn train CJ, which is directly from San Andreas. Well, what if this is something that we have to actually figure out from San Andreas? Like, something in San Andreas that is directly connected to this, and maybe if we go back and look at San Andreas, we'll realize, oh my god, that's somebody's address that we know, or whatever, you know? I'm just speculating the same way, because we oh. were linking a lot of things whoa, to the whoa, whoa. past. Now, now that you now that you say that, remember when you deciphered a message in L.A. Noir with that machine? Yeah, um, it, it it pulls out an address, right? Oh yeah, in Vermont and Street, Vermont, yeah. Vermont Street, one hundred one hundred thirty-three. Vermont Avenue, and yeah. And maybe Avenue, and uh, maybe uh, we should Google that for San Andreas or. Uh, I am just speculating here right now too. But, but yeah, that's I uh, mean that's a, that's the kind of thought process I think we we should kind of look at guys because everything that we have unsolved so far in this game is still living and breathing in their previous titles, ranging from LA Noir to even previous GTA games. And I think that yeah. it's really important to to really point out that information. So if you guys are actually coming in late and you guys missed the the video that we just posted, Go ahead and after this broadcast, check out the video that we just posted because we go and give some good examples of what we're talking about right here in this after show. Yeah, you can see it in the video. Like this is the after talk, and uh, for me, it's this is kind of my last hope <laughs> because uh, because if you look at that sniper thing and that the yellow uh, thing is pointing to it, um, I got comments that uh, the there are elsewhere to be found, but. Those are different. This is a unique one too, and because it's yellow, I thought maybe it is. Uh, it's um, when uh, in the mission uh, derailed, you can uh, activate. Uh, how do you see that heat warmer, uh, heat warmer, the warmer thermal, sniper? The, the thermal vision. Thermal scope. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, okay, maybe this is yellow, so we have to find something in thermal. Uh, so I played that mission over and over again. Um, yeah, but oh, I, I like the comment check. that I just got from uh, iGames613. Oh, maybe it's from Merriweather. Check this Mary out. Merriweather. Has... That, that's well, a good one, on. too. Merriweather. To... All right. Merriweather. And then the because in that mission, you you get to use uh, a thermoscope, too. Like Merriweather. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, you go ahead. Yeah, I'm looking at um, um, a comment I just got from iGames613. iGame613 uh, says that um, maybe that's not an M. Maybe it's, in fact, uh, Twin Peaked Mountain. Now, if you look at it that way, you know, we also oh. have, uh, you, you know, maybe those are coordinates afterwards as well. With the dashes, you mentioned the dashes earlier, how they're kind of oddly placed there. You know, you never know what Rockstar did here, but whatever they did, people tried shit and it didn't work. It's still unsolved. So no speculation is a dumb speculation because until it's solved, everything's up for grabs, I guys. I think it's great. It's a great observation. Maybe it's not an M. We we should keep uh, all all options open. Right, perspective is key. That's something that we've learned, yeah. if anything, from playing this game. Yeah, man, I, I really uh, love that. Uh, thanks. Uh, what's his name? I, I game six thirteen. Oh yeah, I I, I remember him. Mean, he's he he uh, he uh, he's a good hunter. So Thanks, yeah, man. we got a, we got a lot of stuff to investigate. Still, we need a lot of people's help, a lot of people um, that are uh, that are involved in the in the community, and uh, you know we we appreciate everybody for jumping in, watching the videos, and and leaving their comments. Um, it's all appreciated because you never know, you might be that person with that one crispy piece of Jesus toast or that one uh, odd question or, or one unique point of view yeah. and perspective that might be what we need to crack and solve this Chilean mystery. Yes, uh, everybody can hit the chat box. Just like the iGame just said, maybe it's not an M. I never even thought about it, but yeah, it's, it's an option. It's an option. And Think the, about the it too. Look sniper. at this. You got the San Andreas, right? I'm just looking on the bridge. A couple of feet to the oh, right, yeah, we got Andreas. the San Andreas right there. It's almost like they're they're hinting at what the fuck the answer is. We know half the answer right here is all you had to do is follow the damn tr uh, train, CJ, and that was directly from San Andreas. And then we have graffiti right here, San Andreas. And then, and then look at the hills, maybe. 
Yeah, the hills. The Isn't there one. that sign over by Zancudo, by Lego Zancudo? You mentioned Zancudo. No, I mean, I mean in, in San Andreas. I mean, in San Andreas, like uh, the the old game, San Andreas, the hills. I don't oh, know if right, it exists. Right. Or... There's also hills in Red Dead Redemption. The the they're deadly. The death deadly hills. So. Uh, but uh, there's a lot to talk about. Yes, and uh, we, 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 we must do that in another time, in another video, because this is the first after talk, and I hope people will like it, that we, uh, we do that more often. Like, I think it's, it's um, a great way that if people watch the videos and leave comments, because sometimes I see comments, but I, I'm getting so many comments because, um, uh, that sometimes I can't answer them all. And this, I think this is a great way that we, and I really have to learn it because I, I'm still forgetting the chat. I, I, I'm not as good as this, as trippy commentary, uh, uh, but uh, I will learn and then actively talk to the chat and then hunt with the viewers. Uh, I think that's, a, I think that's a, a, a great first step we did in this one video. Absolutely. Absolutely, and hopefully people do like it, and hopefully you guys let us know in the comments after this video is actually a video as well. So I, I know it's asking a lot of you guys to watch the live stream and then come back after it's a video and leave a comment. But if you don't mind leaving a comment and letting us know how you liked it, this is something that we'll consider doing again if we see enough people like it. You know, we'll make a video and then we'll do an after show on that video so you guys can watch the video. You'll have a little bit of time to watch it and then jump into a live stream and discuss it with us after you've watched it. And any points that you want to make, theories, opinions, ideas, anything like that, of course, they're always welcome welcome and you know sometimes me and Dez will do a video together like we did earlier or maybe we'll just be featured on each other's channel either way let us know what you guys um, you know think about this if you guys liked it or not and we'll be sure to go ahead and try to provide you more with the content that you guys are enjoying but either way I hope you guys did watch the videos that me and Dibs posted earlier because uh, we spent some time doing that co-hosting kind of thing together and I thought it was pretty interesting so yeah but the, the most work was you you did all the work all I had to do was, like, uh, uh, say my voice. You did all the hard work, so the, the credits go all, uh, all to you. Wow, much appreciated, man. Hey, it was fun anyway. I still had a good time doing it, though. Even yeah, if thanks, there was man. a lot of editing, I had fun doing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah uh, because I know you, you, you put hard work in it. And, uh, well, uh, next time uh, it will be me, and then uh, we, we change it up. Yeah, the next time it's not going to be actually our voices. Um, it's going to be scripted, and Dibs will have it all for you as uh, <laughs> as yeah, as, right. as just yeah. Um, yeah. as uh, what is it um, like a book? <laughs> yeah, I can't think of the damn word. What's it called? Um, it's just, yeah, a script or uh... yeah, it's a script. What the hell is it? Uh, when you're Subtitles. Jesus Christ, I couldn't think of the words. Yeah. So, subtitles. Yeah, so our next video, Dibs will do the editing, and I won't be talking, neither will he. It'll just be that, that mystery music, and there'll be subtitles, and you'll have to see, you know, the one color will be Dibs' voice, and the other color will be my voice, and that's how you'll, you'll follow. You know, in, you, you know in court, uh, they got a uh, Stino. I, I don't know if it's in English, too. Like, so the, the secretary from the judge can type real fast because uh, they use special... Uh, uh, alphabet, like in the courtroom. Do you, yeah, uh, do yeah. you know that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, something uh, like that. You talk and I, I write it in that language. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's always an honor, Debs, hooking up with Steve, you and oh, yeah, going yes, live. Justin says, Justin says what it is, a stenographer. Yes, yes, that's awesome. Yes, a stenographer, yeah. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Justin, okay. you could be our stenographer if you want to, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dibs, thank you again, man, for uh, hooking up. We did an awesome video, in my opinion, earlier, and then we just did a pretty awesome live stream. At least got the uh, ideas moving and, and, and see what some people think and everything. So I kind of like what we did today. Thank you for being a part of it and uh, joining up again, man. Yeah, and I, wanna th I, I just want to thank uh, 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 the viewers, and uh, hopefully they like it. It, it was a bit of... Uh, uh, how do you say that? Um, oh, so, uh, that this crappy part of my part, uh, my my English sucks too hard. And but uh, it's just uh, how do you say that? A pilot, and I hope people like it. And I think 
it can be very uh, uh, it, we can make good videos and actually hunt together and so we got a subject to hunt so we post the video and we got a, a subject like uh, the TO one door and then all of us go hunting together and exactly. maybe uh, join yeah join in in like in the live session like we play together like we all now it's just the two of us here but maybe there are like 20 people standing here uh, that will be awesome That's, yeah uh, we can evolve it as it goes on as long as people are liking what we're doing i don't mind uh expanding it and i always love integrating more hunters into the mix it's always a good time it yeah, always we are, we are, um, we, proves we are a small group we are a small crew left in, uh, after five years. It's just us, and uh, it's, it's, the mystery is still not solved. At least this code. I got all my hopes on this code here. Hey man, I'm, I'm and not. The uh, and the codex one. I'm not worried about it. I know we got a lot of really great people watching our channel, and I know we got a lot of great hunters out there. So I'm sure that it's just a matter of time, because uh, it's got to happen. The more things change, the more they stay the same, and we will definitely. True. We will definitely solve this code within this community. Yes. It's going to come out there. It, it's it's got it's bound to happen. I want to go ahead and give a couple people a shout out before we end out. Uh, thank you for joining up, guys. I really do appreciate it. We got Andy Wong, Sam Olds, Cushman Gaming, Saiz and Setsu. What's up, Rosaline Rose? Um, we got the dude. We got Ashley the Trips. We got Alexander Sirfoss. All you guys that are jumping in, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's a, uh, a big honor and a pleasure. We got Lean Town. I butter your bread. What kind of bread is that? Is that Jesus Toast quality bread that you're buttering over there, buddy? <laughs> we got BTG44, 1972, iGame613. Um, I'm sorry if I'm missing your names, guys. I know there's a lot of you out there. But all you guys that are jumping in, Pothead Attack. Um, all you guys that are jumping in, Sonny Evans, Paul Curie. Thank you guys all for joining. Sonny Evans? Sonny Evans is big, man. I awesome. remember. I, I know his name. Yeah, if you Google, if you go to YouTube and uh, uh, that man, just, he, he was like 10,000. And then in, in a month, he makes really great videos. Not especially mystery, uh, but he makes um, videos from... Uh, yeah, like a, psychi a psychiatrist looking at online players. It's really fun to watch. I'll check and, him out. Uh, uh, well, I appreciate yeah, you stopping in, Sonny Evans. Yeah. And uh, I want to thank, uh, I know finally Paul Curry. I know his name because I recognize his picture and finally know his real name. Uh, Rally Baked, Justin, of course. Uh, Ryan a Armstrong. Um, Captain Mc key man oh my english is really sucks uh, I, I think and there are a lot of people watching who aren't uh, typing in the chat but i want to thank you as well uh, i really appreciate it that uh, you you gave us the chance to uh, do this for the first time absolutely well dibs i think that about wraps up our show for today so yes. thank you again for doing this thank you guys all for jumping in and all the support and if you guys are not sub subscribed to Dibs Gaming, definitely go ahead and subscribe to his channel. I'll be sure to go ahead and add his link to the description when I add the thumbnail onto the video. And if you guys are not subscribed to myself, maybe you'd want to think about that as well. Because we got two channels here that are always trying to help out the community and trying yes. to solve this mystery. And Danny, so. and Danny is more of the longer video, so if you grab a cup of tea... And you want to like listen for a podcast, or uh, then this is your man. Awesome, man. I Thanks. will put yeah. All right, guys. Okay, I think that's man. it. So until Thanks. next time, take it easy. Ta ta. And as motherfucking always, peace. Thanks for watching. You don't have to beat me up, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!